AI in healthcare is the use of computers to help with medical services and the way those services are run or given. AI has only just started to be used in healthcare, but it is becoming more and more common. Gartner says that global spending on health it in 2022 will be $140 billion, with AI and robotic process automation being the top spending priorities for businesses. Today we are going to talk about the top 10 artificial intelligence applications in healthcare. But before we start our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. Number 1. Healthcare Administration It is thought that 15% to 25% of all healthcare costs go to administrative costs. Insurance companies, payers and providers can all benefit from tools that help improve and streamline administration. Fraud, on the other hand, may give the most immediate return, since it can happen on many different levels and be done by many different people. In some of the worst cases of fraud, insurers may be billed for services that were never done, or surgeons may do unnecessary surgeries to get more money from insurance. Insurance companies may also have to pay for broken devices or test kits. AI can help stop fraud from happening in the first place. Number 2. Public Health AI is already being used in all parts of public health. Large public health datasets are being analyzed with AI tools, such as machine learning algorithms. The CDC has put together a list of some of the many ways AI has been used to analyze public health for COVID-19 and beyond. NLP is being used in areas of public health. Diagnostic imaging data is being used more and more for analysis and forecasting at the population level. Lirio uses consumer data science and nudging techniques to create precision or personalized nudges to encourage healthcare visits, medical compliance, and other things. Number 3. Medical Research AI has a wide range of uses in medical research as well. From finding new and old uses for drugs to clinical trials, here are some examples. It can be very hard to find new medicines to treat illnesses. In silicon, Computer-Aided Drug Design, or CAD, is a complex field in and of itself. In some cases, the goal is to use already-made drugs in new ways. AI was used recently to look at pictures of cells to figure out which drugs were best for people with neurodegenerative diseases. When these treatments work well, neurons change their shape. Normal computers, on the other hand, are too slow to notice these differences. Bayer thinks that AI could improve clinical trials by using medical database information to create a virtual control group. Number 4. Medical Training AI could also change how parts of medical school education are taught. In one case, a student learned how to remove brain tumors with help from an AI tutor. The system had an algorithm for machine learning that taught students safe, effective techniques and then gave them feedback on how they did. People learned skills 2.6 times faster and did 36% better when AI was used to teach them than when AI wasn't used. Organizations in the US and the UK have also used AI-powered virtual patients to make it easier for people to train virtually and remotely. This method was especially helpful when the COVID-19 pandemic stopped people from getting together in groups. Number 5. Medical Professional Support AI is also used to help doctors and nurses in clinical settings, such as the following. AI is used to help people who work in medical facilities do their jobs. One pilot project at Stanford University uses algorithms to figure out if a patient is at a high enough risk to need care in the ICU or to have a code-related event that needs rapid response teams. They figure out how likely it is that these things will happen in the next 6 to 18 hours which helps doctors make better decisions. AI-based applications are being made to help nurses with things like decision support, sensors that let them know when a patient needs something, and robotic help in hard or dangerous situations. Number 6. Patient Engagement AI is also used to help patients directly. For example, hospitals use chatbots that are powered by AI to check in on patients and help them get the information they need faster. When Northwell Health put in place patient chats, 94% of people who used oncology services were involved. Clinicians who used the tool agreed that it helped them provide better care for longer. Chatbots can check patients' symptoms, how well they are getting better, and more. People are also used to texting, which makes them more likely to use it. 
Chatbits also make it easier for patients to get help when they need it. People can use them to find hospitals or clinics, make appointments, and explain what they need. Estimates show that up to half of all patients don't take their medicines as directed. But AI can make it more likely that patients will take their medicines as they should. Some platforms use smart algorithms to tell health professionals when and how they should talk to patients about compliance. Number 7. Remote Medicine Since the COVID-19 lockdowns, there have been more and more virtual doctor visits done through telemedicine. AI also helps with other types of remote medicine, such as VirtuSense uses AI that can predict the future to keep an eye on and warn providers about high-risk changes that could cause a fall. Some facilities that use AI to monitor conditions like heart disease and diabetes rely on it. Hospitals also use this technology to keep an eye on COVID-19 patients, which made it easier to figure out which ones could get care at home and which ones needed to stay in the hospital. Number 8. Diagnostics. AI is also used to diagnose health problems in hospitals, such as one AI system used to find breast cancer can tell what's going on and how likely it is that a patient will get the disease in the next few years. Some uses of AI in healthcare can also cause mental illnesses. Researchers have trained algorithms to spot people who are depressed by, for example, listening to their voices or looking at what they post on social media. Number 9. Surgery. AI can't solve all surgical problems, but it can help reduce them and improve outcomes for both patients and surgeons. The following examples show how this works. A series of funding round just gave $39.5 million to a new company called Theater. The company has an AI video solution that helps surgeons see what went wrong and what went right during procedures. Then they can watch the video to make changes for the future. In healthcare, artificial intelligence is used in things like surgical robots, which are becoming more and more common in operating rooms. Many are minimally invasive and often have better results than interventions that don't use robots. These uses of AI won't take the place of human surgeons, but they can work with surgeons as partners to make surgeries more likely to work. Number 10. Hospital Care Along with the diagnostic use cases listed above, clinicians must also meet the physical needs of their patients and do more mundane things like stock supplies and deliver goods. Collaborative robots that are powered by AI are starting to make things easier. Gartner thinks that by 2023, half of all U.S. providers will have invested in robotics process automation. Some ways that RPA is used in hospitals are a hospital recently put five robots with the name Moxie to work. These machines will tell nurses ahead of time when they need supplies or help setting up lab tests. Then they'll answer before the provider's work becomes too much. Athean makes robots that help with not only medical tasks, but also things like distributing linens and getting rid of trash. So that's it for today. Was this video helpful? Share your views in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching.